In this video, we'll learn about how Honeycode actually works. There are three main components of any Honeycode app. Tables, Builder, and Automations. They're present in every Honeycode app. We're going to learn about what each one of these components are and how they all work together and are connected. The first one is tables. So we learned in previous videos that Honeycode apps are meant to display data in a readable way. But where is that data coming from? Well, they're coming from tables. Tables is where all that data is actually stored. And that's the main part of your Honeycode app. It's the engine of your Honeycode app. All the data is being stored in the tables and it works just like a spreadsheet. It's basically the spreadsheets of your app. This is where all your data is being stored. And your app basically takes all this data and makes it look nice. So there are three main things that tables can do in Honeycode. Sort, filter, and link your data. So let's actually look at an example of linking your data. Let's say, for example, you own a company in which your company basically goes out to people's houses and checks on their AC every once in a while to make sure that there's no problem. Well, to have that type of business, you have to have a customer list and another table where you have their addresses and what type of AC they have. Honeycode allows you to link all that together so that instead of searching between different spreadsheets to find out what his address is and then go to a different spreadsheet to find out what type of AC he has, and the different data that you need, you can link it all together so that in any spreadsheet, whenever you hover over, or in, in any table, whenever you hover over the name Bob, let's say your customer's name is Bob, whenever you hover the name Bob, hover over the name Bob, it'll show you all the data that's linked to him so that it makes your process even more efficient. Basically, tables are where your data, uh, tables is where your data is being stored and it's where the app gets its data from. It's the main part of your Honeycode app, and there are special features that tables can do. And we'll explore some of them when we're, when we're creating our own app. The second component is Builder. Builder allows you to design screens that the user will see. It's a no-coding, it's a no-coding interface that allows you to make an app without any without any coding you can make apps for both mobile and web use at the same exact time so that you don't have to make a separate app for mobile and a separate app for web you can make it both at the same time saving you a lot of time and one specialty of it is you can personalize and customize screens for users because a manager shouldn't be able to see what an employee is seeing and an employee shouldn't be able to see what a manager is seeing. So if we go back to the examples of the video, the second example was a vacation request. So let's say that you're an employee and you send a vacation request to your manager. Your manager has a separate screen that can see that, that, that allows him to see what are the coming requests so that he can approve or reject. The employee shouldn't be able to see that screen because you shouldn't be able to approve or reject your own vacation request. And that's where personalization and customization comes in. So that the person that's designated to see a screen only sees that screen. A person that's designated to see that data only sees that data and is not shown data that you shouldn't be able to see or shouldn't see. So Builder overall is basically where you'll design your app and make all the data in the tables actually look nice. And the third component is automations. One, uh, so one thing that automations can do is add, edit, or delete data automatically without any intervention by you. So if we go back to the vacation request example, let's say you send a vacation request and you submit it. It's going to automatically add a row in the table without any, without any intervention by you. And that allows the manager to see a new request. 
So it's all happening automatically without any, without you doing anything. And that's one example of automating. Another thing that automations can do, allows you to do is send and receive notifications and reminders. So whenever you send a vacation request, your manager will get a custom notification, not notifying him that someone just sent a request so that he can go into the app and approve or reject your request. And whenever your manager approves or rejects it, you'll, the employee will get a custom notification telling him whether it got approved or rejected. Another thing that automations allows you to do is it steers users to correct screens automatically. So that let's say you click a button like submit. Instead of staying on that screen, it takes you to a new screen like the history screen. So that you don't see the screen that you were just on. So let's say you click the submit button, it'll take you to the history screen or a new screen that says, thank you for submitting this form. And that's another type of automation. Automating everything allows you to become more efficient and streamline your work. So those are the three main components. Tables, where all your data is being stored. Builder, where you're creating your app and you're designing it and automations, which allows things to happen automatically without you intervening. So how do they work together? Tables allows the app to display information. So the builder and tables related in that way. And then whenever, some, whenever something is added to the table, you can send a custom notification. So they're all intertwined. The app receives data from the table, Whenever something happens to the table, you can send a custom notification, which is an automation. Adding, deleting data is an automation. They're all connected. And these are the main components of all Honeycode apps.